I'm an immigrant, so I wasn't born in this country. But I came here when I was eight years old, and English is my second language. And uh, I, uh, I very early on became an American. I was always interested in uh, how things work and why nature is the way it is and how you might be able to understand things better. It's just curiosity. At one point in my, my youth, I used to go to the library and I would read the big book of ships. A lot of pictures, a lot of ships. I, I love mechanical things, uh, cars, motorcycles. I read the big book of tanks or artillery. And, you know, it was always very fascinating and I never thought then that that would be my job here for the last uh, 20 years or so. In my youth, I wanted to be a Marine more than anything, not because of patriotism, it was because of adventure. That's why you play football, that's why you join the Marine Corps to go all over the world and to do dangerous, risky things. So after 22 years as a Marine, during which I did teach physics for three years, but I didn't, I wasn't an engineer, didn't do any mathematics for most of those 22 years, but I had an engineering degree that I fell back on after the Marine Corps and then created a second career that was a science, technology, engineering career. You know, it's almost the perfect world. 20 years of uh, uh, goofing off as an adventurer and now uh, an engineer. Looking at something that looks difficult yet is interesting and fascinating and then being able to understand it better and to, uh, you know, meet the challenge of greater understanding that can lead to doing it better or teaching somebody uh, about that particular thing. Everything from, you know, how the moons and the stars and the earth align together and how the universe was formed down to how a particular uh, gizmo works. To this day, I still watch the, the program of how things work on television every chance I get. It's just, it's just me. But what I would say is anybody who has a little bit of that curiosity, follow it because, uh, you know, it, it can lead to a very interesting and fascinating life. The thing to work on developing uh, that is very important is uh, everybody has doubts about their ability to do something that is inherently very difficult. Mathematics is difficult and physics is difficult initially. But, you know, put those doubts aside and go with the flow and uh, allow yourself to succeed and every little small success will reduce your doubts and bring larger successes and will let you meet bigger challenges.